We're here at H-E-L-N-L -L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The San Francisco 49ers battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. He runs it for three. Third and four. First and ten. A great throw and a great catch. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the deer antlers. First and goal. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense goal for speed. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. You can't keep a good mutant to first down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Now, don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. <sighs> And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That 
ball just sliced through the defense like butter. Irish defense is amazing. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's in the 20. He might catch him. Move your fat little mutant. And he scores! Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first to ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. Let me take it, wrap up the other half and save it for... Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Cheerleader's pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. First down in inches. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hit. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! First and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somewhere. Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and nine.
Third down and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays on defense. Schmuck. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and nine. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger pay. Man, what a hit that was. Ghost. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. down and six. Oh, now the offense is getting killed. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. But my man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. 
He broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Two left. You need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down in a lot. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I... And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on double. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And it's first and ten. Oh man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. No running back left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score! Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Second and three. Hot. Hot one, hot two. And he's off to the races. Look at that little. You're an idiot. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. First down in a mile. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, now the offense is getting killed. It's a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, holy Monta 
Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that'll be second down and four. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, he just got crushed. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. And the kick is good! The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, then we go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. and says, who's next? Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his feet. Oh, with the brutal hit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, hide this dash. On it. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah, good game for I won't Yeah, First and eight to go. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown!
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! Second down and nine. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. The defense called the wall speed turn and trick. Will give them a first. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost so. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive play. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's running out of gas now. They're going for two points. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. Boom! And it's...
It's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. And oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. for a 10-yard gain. Second down and inches. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 20. He could go all the... And yeah, never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why right, that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah. <sighs> Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First down and seven. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? The offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. Second down and seven. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Yes. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me 
same story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed, it was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. away from that time. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Uh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, you hold it out on me. And it's first and ten. his misery and says, who's next? Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? In a shower of blood and guts, the Malice Hellboys send the opposition straight to hell. They win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Now I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other...